Oh, bonjour everybody welcome to my channel thank you for watching my video thank you for those who subscribe to my channel today we'll talk about a, a kit from plastic soldier It's a 15 millimeter miniature so one 100 in size is perfect to play flames of war and today it is late war british infantry av weapon 1944-45 so we got one team of a four inch mortar one team of a three inch mortar one team of Vickers machine gun and in the back lonely is a flamethrower flamethrower and the drill on the side we got WW2015010 is the number for the kit from Plastic Soldier in the back we have a bigger pictures of the crew of the 4 inch mortar and suggestion to paint your crew or your teams if you already built and paint Commonwealth and British uh, unit you already have your paint set for it so look what we got inside the box first we got this paper this paper represent every team we can uh, we can find in this box so in blue is the Vickers team in red, we have the three inch mortar where all the guys are in kneeling position. The three inch mortar is there and the support for the three inch mortar. In yellow, we have the team for the four inch mortar. So we got the mortar here with this uh, support, the officers or NCO, and the three crew to man the mortar. And in black, we have the flamethrower a uh, soldier so like I said on the on the bottom of the page because it's a full page and the bottom we have the three inch mortar position the Vickers position and the four inch mortar crew as suggested by plastic soldier so there's four sprues inside the kit so we got one team of each and each spruce I will not go too much in detail what I'll do next is just to give you a few seconds to see more what they look like and then we'll build one team of each and we will complete off camera and start painting right away so first team we're gonna look at it's this guy here it is the flamethrowers uh, and and the drill so we can see his uh, his pistol for the flames in the back the container that carry the ingredient or the the, the fuel propellant he got the water bottle and that's about it what he's carrying on him and he got a couple pouch in front second team we're gonna look at or and second individual group is the three inch mortar so each individual are in kneeling, pos kneeling position and they are complete by itself so we don't need to make more uh, glue any part from him there's a little hole here for, from the molding of the individual we can see there's on the belt the water bottle just the strapping and in front a couple pouch for ammunition or anything the guy carry is that guy all the trench mortar bomb in his hand water bottle the webbing strap and that's it the same for that individual water bottle the strapping for the pouch in front and it's a nearly position the three inch mortar you got the three inch mortar itself and its base that uh, you just have to put it here and it would fit with an angle for firing 
second group is a four-inch mortar, mortar platoon of troops section. You got officer or senior NCO if you want to, depending on what you expect from it. Is it an officer or a senior NCO? It's pretty much your choice. Pretty standard uniform, pouch in front, webbing in the back, and water bottle. This guy missing his arm right here, so we need to glue those arms together. Just like that. So I'm going to use for that super glue. Not too much super glue because I'll be the one glued to the model, not the arms of that is intent for this guy. You can play a bit the angle of how you hold them, but pretty much like this. It's a good position and let it dry and is ready to be paint. Then the other end is all another one with a three inch mortar in his hand. Protecting his hair. And a four inch mortar. I know that Flames of War, if I'm right, it's a two inch or three inch mortar option. So if uh, the person you play with agreed to be a three inch mortar, it is fine too. So you can have a team of three inch mortar, even if there's a four inch mortar in size. And the last group is the Vickers group. So we have the Vickers here with, this is uh, water cooling for the Vickers. We have the tripod with the legs of the one who man the Vickers. And to finish, we have that poor guy here, no arms, no legs, that attached to the base. So let's attach him to the base. We'll let him sit and set a bit before we do the rest. We have that end drill here that is the one who hold the ammo box for the Vickers. So it's missing his arm and the ammo box. I'm gonna glue it as well. And for that, because uh, the box is supposed to be on the ground, when the arm are installed, just make sure that the guy is uh, ammo box is touching the ground. Ammo box on the ground. Everything is perfect. The third and fourth guys are the sergeant or officers with binocular. So more than likely the officers because the sergeant here is with his small machine gun. So we get one officer, one sergeant, the individual with the machine gun ammo, and the individual woman, the Vickers. So we just have to glue the Vickers to his base and the arm of that individual, and we're pretty much complete. So when it's done, I'll glue off camera and put together all the team and then we'll start painting each team. It wasn't easy for me to put together but finally I managed to. So you got the end draw here with his machine gun and his cooling system for the Vickers. So now I'm gonna 
complete all of the team and we will paint them. This is my guys are fully paint on his base. I decided not to show you how I paint them. If you want to see, go see a previous video I made on about my British rifle infantry. You can see how I paint them and all of them are painted the same way. This is a three inch mortar team. The Flames of War play only with three inch mortar team. There's no four inch mortar team, but I think if you need more than four, the person you play against will allow you to use those guys four inches as three inches mortar, as long as you use the three inches mortar stat. The base is pretty much the same size. And this is my Vickers team. You can see there's three guys on the base. And most of those guys that are inside this kit doesn't come with a base for each individual. So what I decide to do is with my 3D printer, I print a base so there's no hole for the base of the soldier and I glue them to the base. When that is done, I use uh, home hardware paint, brown, that is a bit the same color as ground, I assume, but for everybody uh, it may shade a bit, but it's all right. And then once the first coat is done, what I do, I let it dry, and then I apply a second coat. But the second coat, what I do is, is lots of PVA glue with a bit of paint. So the PVA is mixed with the, P, uh, the paint, and it's all brown. I generously apply it on the base, everywhere, and then I use flock. And for me, the flock is sawdust. And to make my sawdust, I use, again, home hardware paint, like green, dark green, and I mix with water to so I get different shade of green, mix the sawdust with it, let the sawdust dry under the sun, and when all is done, then I got my flock for the base. And I do the same for it, all different color for the sand, for the snow, for the mud, everything is sawdust, sawdust mixed with paint. And when it's all dry, it gives you that. So that completes my video. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with my next video.